What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Dream Chasers, aka the RDC World Career Mode here on FIFA 23. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out the playlist on the channel to get yourself up to date with the series so far. We are currently in September 2026, Season 5 of the Career Mode now. It's been a crazy ride so far. I appreciate everyone who's been rocking with us from the start. Yeah, it's been a mad five seasons and hopefully Season 5 will live up to the expectations that we have got going. So far... We are doing decent enough, you know, three wins, two losses in the league, currently sat seventh. We're also in the Europa League this season. If you missed last season, you can go back and watch that to find out how we qualify for the Europa League. But uh, before we get into the gameplay today, we've got a few big games and I think we might have more Europa League games or more cup games. We've got Wolves here. Then we have got Victoria Pleasant in the Europa League. Um, and as you can see later on in the season, or in this month, I should say, we've got a big run. We have a Europa League game against Besiktas. Then we play Chelsea in the league. Then United in the cup. And then United in the league. That's going to be a crazy month of October next time. Um, but yeah, back to today's episode and today's games. We start off with Wolves. But before we do that, there's a few things I wanted to address uh, in the comments from the last few episodes. First of all, last week we did drop a 40 minute episode. I don't even know how it got that long. Pause. Um, I just didn't really expect it to be that long, but uh, and I was a bit reluctant to upload that video actually. And I was thinking, should I like edit some of the highlights out, make it a shorter video? Um, but Dragon Investor left a comment saying 40 minutes, uh, and a few people left comments in that video saying that they enjoyed a longer episode. So just let me know in the comments of this one, um, like, do you enjoy the longer episodes or do you prefer shorter episodes um, and in like quicker succession? You know, uh, let me know what you think about the video length because I always get too concerned that like. If the video goes too long, people won't watch it. But it seems like he's liked longer videos, so maybe I can look at doing more of them in the future. This guy left a comment saying, I was filled with joy when you put Lewandowski and Barbosa together. That's how you should play this season. Drop the two strikers, rotate Lewandowski and Ronaldo and the legend Elliot. So, this is the big talking point, I guess, of today's, like... Not controversy, but, you know, the, the talking points that I wanted to bring up. It has been in the last few episodes, the formation. There's been a lot of comments talking about formation and personnel, who we should play. This is our main squad. Obviously, the 4-4-1-1 formation. I absolutely love this formation. I feel like everyone knows the role and does the job perfectly. The two centre mids play great. The wingers give us the options when we need it. And then down the middle, Elliot and our striker. Absolutely amazing. But, of course, we do have Lewandowski on the bench now, who I do want to try and get into the team somehow. We tried a two-striker formation with the 4-4-2. 4-4-2 was decent, but it just had a little thing missing compared to this formation. So I think the option um, that I'm considering myself before we get into some like comments, I want to play Barbosa in the centre-forward role and then play Lewandowski's regen, which is this guy, Arthur Vilk. Play him up front. Um, so yeah, have those two there. But as we say, Morgan Elliott, absolute legend. I know he's old now, 32 years old. 33 years old, actually. Wow, he's got older since the last time I checked. Yeah, 33 years old, but he is still just absolutely quality. He can single-handedly win us games, you know? So he's one of those players that... For now, we're just leaving him there, bro. Like, I know we want to see Lewandowski. We're going to have mad rotation through this season with the amount of competitions we're in. FA Cup, Capital One Cup, Europa League, and the league. That's four competitions that we're in. We're going to see all of these players on the bench make appearances for us this season. So don't stress about that. But like I say, um, th there is going to be rotation all through the season. A lot of people left comments talking about different formations, maybe even three at the back. But the thing is, if we go three at the back, we've got Canales and Anasio as our centre-backs. We also have Shin Maia from the Youth Academy, who has been playing great, but he's still just lacking that little tiny bit of quality to get into the first team over maybe a Canales, um, you know. But if we went that three at the back formation, that means Shin Maia's got to play instead of someone. If we play three at the back, we don't have fullbacks anymore. We could play Mina on the wing, but then who plays on the left wing? Do we go with Theon? But then where does Morgan Lee go? And that's the problem we have at the minute, boys, with trying different formations. Somebody's always going to miss out. Um, and it tends to be somebody like uh, Ono Masaki. And a lot of people have been disrespecting Morgan Lee recently. I can't lie to you, boys. We need to put some respect on Morgan Lee's name. He's been playing out of his skin for the whole of Season 5 and the whole of the back end of Season 4. This guy has really found form and he's been playing so well. But a lot of people are suggesting formations that don't include a place for Morgan Lee. This also ties into a lot of comments I've been seeing recently. Uh, I picked out this one from Thiago. He said, the fact that you only play Ronaldo at striker is very sad. 
the lad can also play winger. Now, in his positions, he actually can't, so we'd have to train him as a winger. Um, and a lot of people have been leaving comments saying, obviously, it's Ronaldo's regen. Play him on the left wing. Now, I get that. Ronaldo, obviously, is originally a left winger but then towards the end of his career he became a striker let's let's be honest he played down the middle a lot and up front and as Ronaldo's regen in this game he is definitely suited more for a striker I mean you've seen the gameplay bro this guy is absolutely lethal in front of goal he needs to be in that striker position getting in front of goal and scoring his dribbling the stat there is 82 but honestly on the ball he doesn't feel great he doesn't I know he's got five star skill moves as well but he doesn't feel like a player I can pass two down the wing do some skill moves cut inside or, and get a shot off he definitely does feel like a player we just need to give the ball to and shoot because he is absolutely clinical in front of goal. So I know a lot of people want to see him on the wing, but even in this formation here, if we played him on left mid, it's a lot deeper than on the wing, and I feel like he'd be wasted out there because of how clinical he actually is in front of goal. And I mean, he's on course for the golden booth. I don't want to like put him out to the wing and, and move his position. The guy is absolutely insane up front, and he does need to stay there, in my opinion. I appreciate people's comments saying that they want to see him on the wing, but maybe one day, but for now... I'm looking to keep this formation with him up front. Linking into those two points that I've just made, Levi left a comment saying, uh, well, first of all, he said, can you train Ono's pace? Renew your player contracts. Uh, we actually did the player contracts a few episodes ago, so I don't know if you missed that episode, mate, but we have sorted the player contracts. Everyone is all right for this season now. Um, and Ono Masaki, yeah, his, his pace is low. But if we go to the training... If we check out the training here for Ono Masaki, the only way we can increase his sprint speed and acceleration is by training him as a support midfielder. And by doing that as well, um, it boosts up his defensive work rate and it will put it to high and I don't want that. Although we do need more pace on him, or it would be nice to have that extra boost of pace, I guess, by training it. Um, compared to just training balanced and just letting his pace go up naturally. I don't see a point in going with support midfielder because I don't want him to have that defensive work rate. So we're going to leave him as a balanced um, like training plan for now. That'll boost up all of his stats nicely, shooting, passing, dribbling uh, and pace, of course, because I do just want him to increase across the board. He's 17 years old, 71 rated, um, and he's got potential to be special, bro. So by the time he's 90 rated anyway, he's going to be a lot faster regardless. So yeah, I'm going to trust the process and hopefully he just does grow into that player that I want to see him grow into, bro. But on the same comment from Levi, he said try playing Lee in Elliot's position once in a while and then the white haired brother on the wing of course the white haired brother um, I, I do refer to as uh, Cristiano Ronaldo here Barbosa and this man Andreas I call him Andreas because I think it's shelter up I want to say but I don't want to butcher his name and Andreas is just a lot easier to say so um, yeah, we have the white-haired brothers. Obviously, they're not related at all, but in-game, they look similar, so I'll call them the white-haired brothers. Um, and yeah, Levi wants to see us play um, Lee in camp and play Andreas on the wing. Of course, we do have a lot of attacking options here to rotate him, um, and there will definitely be games where Andreas starts on the wing. And playing Morgan Lee in camp was actually my original idea as the Elliot replacements, but now that we have uh, Lewandowski, and obviously I'm thinking about dropping Barbosa to the centre-forward behind Lewandowski, playing Lewandowski up front and um, Morgan Lee is just he just has that position on the wing on lock you know and the amount of goals he scored at the back post running in late into the box I think he's really suited to that position bro and I know we're playing him out of position now at the minute because he's a cam as a primary and we're playing him in left mid I don't know if to change that like as, as his primary position I don't know if that affects his potential or his growth or anything by the way if anyone knows that let me know in the comments please like because we're playing Morgan Elliott uh, Morgan Lee sorry as a left midfielder, but his primary position is a cam. Does that affect his growth in any way? And should we change his primary position? If anyone knows the answer to that question, please let me know. But yeah, so Lee can definitely play in the cam role instead of Elliot. And like I say, that was my original plan to replace Morgan Elliot with Morgan Lee. But for now, Lee is staying on the wing. Again, on the topic of Morgan Elliott, though, Venom left a comment saying you should sell Elliott because when he starts to climb and you won't play him and he will leave the club like Field did. Uh, of course, we stopped playing Reggie Field and he demanded a transfer request. Um, and Venom says that's a disrespect to a club legend. So let him leave respectfully and sell him. Now, like I've mentioned all five seasons of this career mode, I get attached to my players in career mode. Very sentimental in that way. Uh, and I don't want to sell Morgan Elliott. He is that guy. Has been for five seasons. I just want to keep until the very end until he retires here at the club one man club like totty yeah i don't think he wants to go anywhere at least i hope he doesn't and i hope he doesn't mind staying on the bench once he does uh, start declining and rating because bro 
he's just been incredible for us. And he's if we sold him, we'd only get 10 million. That's all his value is, 10 mil. And I'm like, that's not even a lot. That's not even worth selling. Do you know what I mean? For 10 mil, like, who cares, bro? I'd rather keep him for the sentimental value uh, and let him retire as a club hero. Final comments to get into before we do get to the gameplay comes from Adam. He said, do comments in the episode again with an upside down smiley face. Now, I don't know what the, the smiley face was hinting at or anything, but we didn't stop doing comments in the episode. Um, obviously, we, we do comments in the episode when there are things to discuss. Like today, we had the, the big decisions to talk about with the, the centre forwards, the strikers, Morgan Elliott, the formation, all that stuff. So when there is uh, stuff to talk about, I will, of course, include the comments in the videos because you guys basically co-manage this club with me. Yeah, like I, I, post, I put the questions out there, you give me the answers in the comments and then we go from there. Um, but yeah, I just want to say I appreciate everyone's support on this series so far and I don't want people to think that like I'm not including comments anymore more or not looking at the comments i reply to each and every comment that i get on these videos as well everyone's support means so much to me and i wouldn't be doing this series if it wasn't for you guys watching so yeah keep up the support and i'll keep bringing the videos people yeah i appreciate it and with that being said let's get into the today's gameplay so, like I did show you at the start, we have a game against Wolves in the league, but a few days after that, we do have a Europa League game. It's away against Victoria Pleasant, who shouldn't be that good, but I do want to prioritise the Europa League this season, so I don't want to take any chances. So, we are going to sacrifice the league a little bit, but, I mean, it's not a sacrifice. I'm just going to rotate players, you know? So, for this game against Wolves, first things first, we're going to change the kits because I'm not playing yellow on yellow. That man on the right-hand side there for Wolves is De Ketelier. He is, like, 89 rated now. Top scorer in the World Cup. In our World Cup, just gone in our career mode. He is going to be insane to play against. They've got Malinkovic Savage in there, in the midfield now. That is a great player to have in there. Um, but yeah, he's going to be great up front. But we are going to rotate our squad a little bit. You can see people being tired anyway. Canales, I'm going to give a little rest for Shin Maya because I want to get Maya some game time. Uh, and we've got the big boy Inacio next to him. Ono Masaki tired on the right wing. We can bring in Brennan Johnson there. Lee tired on the left wing. Let's start Andreas. And Rabage are tired in the middle. Let's start Juric. Um, and that's just the beauty of our squad. Like, we can just make like-for-like -like changes in each position that we want to. Um, and as for the strike force, I'm going to leave the two big boys on because these two are ideal um, for getting us goals. And of course, Lewandowski on the bench is a little bit tired, but we will see Lewandowski in the Europa League game. And with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Our camera lens trained on one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Let's get it, boys. It's been like a week since I've played FIFA, so hopefully I'm not too rusty getting into this game uh, as we nearly passed it out to play already. But yeah, man, hopefully we can get off to a quick start here. As well, I feel like I say that in every game, can we get a quick start? But it's so true. Yeah, I can't wait till next season's budget comes in and we can upgrade our stadium as well, by the way, because I've picked a stinker of a home stadium this season. That, that shadow in the middle is really doing my head in. We've only played here like two times. Cheers, Alex. In oh, what the hell is that, Andreas, bro? Whitehead Brothers, I was about to say. Can they make a connection? But <laughs> Andreas is making a connection with the outer bounds line. Oh, that's quality from Hashimoto, you know. He is so good. It's actually ridiculous. Here's Ronaldo looking to play through Brennan Johnson, who's made a big run down the line. In behind the defence. Can we cut it back to Ronaldo? Just not finding the pass there. Brennan had no options in the middle. By the way, boys, I'm going to tease you here. Um, give you a little like teaser for the end of the season when we do our squad report. Oh, Shin Maya out of position. Well, that was actually a Nassio who got caught on that pass there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a little teaser. Uh, like We've only just finished the transfer window. And of course, we sent a few players out on loan, including um, Billy Cairns. And we also sent Tommy Bailey out on loan. And I just had a little look at the growth. And yeah, let's just say by the end of the season, or by the... Oh, penalty ref. Um... By the start of next season, we're going to have even more dilemmas with players who we should be starting because, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but those guys are going to be incredible by next season, yeah? That's all I'll say. Hashimoto, I don't know what just happened there. I thought he won the tackle, but clearly not. And the Ketelier has scored, but he's offside. I thought Hashimoto won that tackle there, but then the ball just went through, and that was weird. Is Morgan Elliott finding some space? Can he find the ball through to Ronaldo? He can, but I've lost it because of the shadow. <laughs> That's such a bad excuse, but I literally couldn't see the ball then because of the shadow on the pitch. The players feel like they're stuck in the mud this game. You know, I'm pressing the RT button to sprint and nobody's moving. Campbell on the ball. 
No way, no way. How is that going in? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I told you about the kettle here in the warm-up. Or the build-up, I should say. But how has he done that, lad? I don't want to see this hugging stuff, bro. Get off me screen, get out my face. How is that going in? It's bad defending, but still, like... That's so lucky. He hit it off his own player. Like, do you know how ridiculous that is? That wasn't even a 1-2. He just blasted it at his own player. Won the ball back somehow. There's Morgan Elliott over the top. Ronaldo in behind. Can we beat the defender? We've only got one to beat. Great touch and Ronaldo has put it wide. Oh, that was nice player. Nice ball. Nice touch. But not nice finish. Well, then, Theon. That's so jammy again. Oh, Shin Maia, what a player, mate. What an interception that is. That was actually crucial. Andreas into Elliot. Is Barbosa. Oh, come on, Ronaldo. We had uh, Brennan Johnson on the overlap there. Inacio. I have not been a fan of Inacio since we signed him, I can't lie. He has made some weird, like, not even mistakes, but he just acts weird sometimes. <laughs> That's offside, surely. Well in, Shin. Oh, my God, mate. Shin Maia is better than Inacio. And he's like 10, 15 ratings lower. It's actually mad. Is Barbosa fan of Brennan Johnson on the wing? Big header. What are you doing, lad? Everyone's acting so weird this game. Well then. Substitution time. Everyone's being an idiot. Morgan Elliott is coming off a of Robin. I don't even know why we're doing that because it's the wingers that we need to... Brennan Johnson actually is coming off. Morgan Elliott's going on right wing. Andreas needs to step up as well before we bring someone on there because I don't even know what he's thinking, bro. But let's see what Elliott can do on the wing with Robin down the middle. And oh, I don't know. There's just no space, no options. No played Shin again. Mate, I'm actually... I'm actually loving Shin Maia, you know. Come on, Andreas. Andreas, bro! Oh, lad, you stink! Like, oh, I don't know if that's just a tough pass to make, but I don't think Andreas has completed a single pass. He's dropping a 4 out of 10 right now. And that's generous. I don't even know where the 4 comes from, lad. That's a straight 1. Great turn. Great turn. Ronaldo, he's played through Robin. Come on, Robin. That's one-on-one. -on -one. That's you, bro. That's you all day, bro. Come on! Frank Ribéry on the score sheet, yeah? If you don't know, if you're new to the series, that's Ribéry's regen. That's why I've just said that. I'm not tripping, yeah? <laughs> I know it doesn't look like Frank Ribéry, but yeah, that's his regen. Come on. What a player he is, mate. I can always rely on that guy off the bench. I swear every single time I've subbed him, and off, subbed him on off the bench, yeah? He's scored, bro. Like, what a player. What a man. Number 11 share for this season, and he's killing it. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Oi! Referee! That's an insane tackle, bro. That's not a red. Was that the kettle here? No, it wasn't. I don't even know. Sail makers. Proper salesmen, lad. That was an insane tackle, bro. That's... Oh, that's injury prone right there. Oh, Inacio's left-footed. Did not know that. Here we go. Here we go, Ronaldo! What a run from Ribery! He wants two, and he's got two. Come on, Frank Ribery, what a substitution that was. Oh, boys, I've not said this for a while, but I am Jose Mourinho. Don't doubt the tactics. Yeah, tactical substitutions, bro. That's Look at this run from Robin there. That was on his bike straight away, as soon as uh, Ronaldo picked the ball up. What a, what a player. What a player. Shout out Met again. I've got to shout out Met every time because I probably wouldn't have signed him if he didn't pester me to. There's Morgan Elliott. He's kept the ball. And the ball's through to Robin. He wants a hat trick. And he's got it. Oh, what a player. What a player. Nah, mate. Nah, 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 boys. What have I just witnessed, bro? Wolves have just completely fell apart. They've battered us all game. And one substitution completely broke them. One substitution on their heads was gone. But again, great play from everyone involved. That's a hell of a finish as well. The way he went through the defender. Mad. Yeah? Mad. What a tackle, Jim. Oh, boys, come on. Somebody left a comment saying, like, we should only play one formation and we've got too many players and we need to, like, not have so many reserves and stuff. But this is exactly why we have all of these players. Because even when we're losing games or just going nowhere, we have these people on the bench who can come in and make an impact, bro. And then when people are tired, they can start the game and make an impact. Like, we are in such a good place right now as a squad. 
um, and a club. Like, oh, I'm so excited for the future, bro. Oh, well, in Morgan Elliott. Oh, Morgan Elliott, even I was on the wing, he's quality. And there's full time, boys. That's all she wrote. What a win that was then. And there's only one man we can thank for him. And his name is Aaron Robin. What a player. Robin's just sent us an email after that match as well saying, Hey Gaffer, just wanted to say thanks for giving me the chance to show what I can do. I feel like I'm ready for regular games now. Hope you'll be thinking about me in the matches we've got coming up. Absolutely outstanding, son. Keep up the performances like that. And we might have to agree with him and start him sometimes, bro. But for now... It's Europa League. Let's advance, see who's tired, see who's not, see who we're playing where. By the way, boys, I've not shown this for a while. This is our Youth Academy. We've just got an update on the first of the month. Um, and there's pretty much... It's pretty much just dead. I'm thinking about just releasing all of these players. We might sign, like, the ones in the 60s, like this guy, Arthur Jones, and just sell them on for money. Um, because, yeah, I mean, it's pretty dead in the Youth Academy, I can't lie. And we don't have any scouts out anywhere, um, like, searching for players. I feel like... We were at a point where we had so many players, I didn't want to bring more in. So we do have two scouts. I've not shown them for a while. Like, we have two five-star, five-star scouts, but we've not sent them anywhere. So I don't know if we should look for a unique position, like a goalkeeper or something. I, I, for the future, I don't even know. Like, I, I don't know what to do with the scouts. I feel like I just don't want to bring in too many um, players at this point. Or do we send them out just to look for money? You know, if we send them out, find a player with like a 2 million value, we can just sell them on for money. Like, uh, I don't know what to do with the scouts, but for now, they're just getting left there. But let's get into this game against Victoria Pleasant. It's in the group stage of the Europa League. We do want to win our group. So let's play our strongest team possible and let's jump into it. We are going to go with the 4-4-2 formation for this game. Strong back line, as you can see. Inacio now up to an 86 overall. We're going to play Ono Masaki, the two centre mids holding down the fourth. Morgan Lee as captain on the left mid. And then our two strikers up front with the usual boys on the bench, usual suspects. Um, I'm actually going to give Lavia some game time here at centre-back instead of instead of Anasio. Yeah, let's give him some game time. Um, I want to get Fingy back in there, Canales. So, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. I wanted to play Shin Maia though as well, low-key. Should we play Shin Maia at right-back? Give Mina a rest. Mina's had a lot of games, hasn't he, recently. Let's see what Shin's like at right-back. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't even know who these guys are that we're playing, so we may as well. Hopefully, we're not massively underestimating these guys and they absolutely terror us, but, you know, we're, we're trying different stuff. When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably, two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Two of the favourites to go all the way. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I'm sorry if there's any Victoria Pleasant fans watching and I'm being disrespectful, but I don't even know what country they're from. Like, I've never even heard of that club. So if they're a favourite to go all the way in the Europa League, then I must be living under a rock. Um, but yeah, man, let's jump into the game. <laughs> oh, who's he think he is, lad? You see that little touch there? I don't know who this guy thinks he is, but I bet he's like 72 rated and he's doing that. I can't even be disrespectful about rating because I know Masaki's only 71. Well, very effective play in possession. There's Jim Meyer out at right back. Absolute brick shit house. Yeah, not getting past him. And teammates to play it to. Or maybe you are. Little pass inside. It's cut open the defense. Hashimoto to the rescue. These stink already, bro. I can just tell. I'm just going to go on a run with uh, Ronaldo here. Put the pace to use. We've got Lewan in the middle, though, actually. Oof. Can we get there still? Ronaldo, he's still got it. Ball in to Lewandowski. Oh, he's going for a mad bicycle kick there. Whoa, Ray Bajel had the all right. Spin RKO'd. Referee, pen ref. Oi, what's going on in this game, bro? Oh, what a tackle, Canales. Welcome back to the team, mate. He only had one game out, but... I missed his presence in the back line, I can't lie. There's Lewan into Ronaldo. Those two just stink, bro. They hate passing to each other. It's like they both just want to score and don't want to pass to each other. So every time they do pass to each other, they make it a shit pass. But there's Ronaldo from range. I can't believe that's still a glitch, you know, boys, in the top right there. Like, that has been a glitch on FIFA for, like, three games. So, like, how can you have a glitch in the game for three years? Like, on three different games, bro? Like, that's actually crazy to me. EA, that I've not fixed that yet. Oh my god, look how much space we have, like, once we win the ball back here. But then their defence are just rapid to recover. And he 
Oh, big save. Big, big save from Chesney there. Needed that. Nice, nice overlap. Oh, great dribbling. Ronaldo near post. Oh, just couldn't get the shot off. Nice little play there, though. Oh, gap inside. And they've hit the woodwork. Get the ball out. Strain well in. Oh, mate. No way. Oh, no, inside. Overlap. Lewandowski. Come on, boys. Yeah, big goal there. Big, big goal. And they actually linked up together. Ronaldo, Lewandowski on the score sheet and the assist sheet. I actually saw the last episode, not last episode, last game, that Ronaldo, I know we've only played five games in the league, but Ronaldo's the top assister in the league. So that's a, a mad one. You'd expect him to be top scorer, but top assister. And he loves getting the assists. Ronaldo, I've told you this. He loves dropping deep, playing a bit like Harry Kane. Picking the ball up deep and playing it onto the runners. Let's see what happens next. Well, can they be creative from here? Oh, Theon missing the header. Yeah, recovery tackle. I love our team. I just love everyone, bro. I literally love every single one of our players. Here's Lewandowski. We're looking to play through Lee. Got some space to work with. Early cross into the middle. Ronaldo over a kick. Ronaldo! Sui! What a goal, bro. Yeah? Come on. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Lad, those early crosses from Morgan Lee on the wing as well are absolutely special each and every time I hit one, bro. Like, I just feel like I'm going to score as soon as Morgan Lee crosses it. But we can't discount the finish there. Easy finish, nobody around him. It was a bit like Rooney against City, nobody around him. Over there kick. That was exactly like Rooney against City, actually. Yo, that's mad. That is mad, but... Oh, what a finish still. <laughs> oh, that's mad, bro. Oh... Like I say, nobody around him was an easy finish, but he still had all the work to do. Yeah, let's not discredit him. What a finish that is. Ronaldo and Lewin on the score sheet now. There's going to be no arguments later. They both scored the same amount of goals, but <laughs> we'll see what happens before the end of the game. What a tackle on Omasaki. Come on. Oh, mate, we're just so good all around. Shin Meyer, again, quality. Canales, quality. Lavia, I forgot he was playing, but quality. Ronaldo over the top, it's a good ball. Lewandowski, it's a good touch. It's a cheeky finish and he's put it over the bar. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, what a save that is. Chesney, wow. What a save that is. Just unpaused it from doing subs and <laughs> forgot where the ball was. <laughs> Well in, Robin. Oh, what a turn. You've got one man to beat. He's got one man to beat. And he's beat him. You've got Lewandowski up in support, but he might want to go all himself. Is he going to sweaty goal? Get your tits out! Lewandowski cut on the score sheet again. So unselfish from Robin there, but Rivery's regen is absolutely insane. Did you see that dribbling once we won it? But that's great hustle as well from Lewandowski, because if you think back to the corner, Lewandowski won the header to Robin, then ran the length of the pitch. Look at him on his last legs. He's getting up there. Almost ran offside. He was running that quick and a great finish on the lad, but great play from Frank Ribery. Yeah, oh, mate. What a team we have what a team i absolutely love playing this game you know every time i wake up to record an episode i just love it by the way um i brought on robin up front and we're playing ronaldo on left mid just to see how he does because people wanted to see it so he's on left mid and he's just lost the ball so i hope he's a happy yeah <laughs> big head lavia well played son has not much to do this game but Solid regardless. And here goes Robin again. He's just so fast. He's only got 81 pace, but he's so fast. Little one inside. Lewandowski letting it run. Crossover. Oh, what a save that is. Oh, that was a heavy play. Oh, the whistle ref. Lad, I don't even want the corner, bro. Just <laughs> let us get out the game and say what a win that was. Then, oh, what a head. There we go. There's full time. What a win that was then. Oh, come ahead, boys. Hello, Reds. What a win that was then. 
Next up, boys, is Leicester in the league. We need to try and focus on the league now, of course. We've got a lot of games to come still, but with two losses already in the season, I'm looking up here. We've got United on one loss, Liverpool on no losses, and City on no losses, Chelsea on one loss. Uh, a lot of people around us with one loss, and we, of course, have two. We need to keep those losses to a minimum, not let those upper teams run away with the league, trying to get top four possibly this season. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what we can aim for, bro. I don't want to be too like ambitious, but I mean, there's no such thing as too ambitious, bro. You know what I mean? Let's go for the for the gold, you know? We've had some trouble last season playing against Leicester, but it seems like they sold a lot of the players that actually cause us trouble. Carlos Soler, that on the right mid, he's still there and he causes a bit of trouble. Andy Robertson at left back. For Leicester City, which is a big sign and that they've just gained this season. Um, but in terms of the team, I think I'm going to keep it how it is. Don't really want to rotate anyone here. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Rainy day here at the King Power Stadium. Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out. Canales. Oh, what a save that is from Chesney. Wow. What a start. Oh my God, I'm, I'm nervous already, bro. Well in, Andy Robbo. That's Andy Robbo. He's out of position. Go. Somebody make the run. Oh no, he's going to have to make it himself. Can we get the ball around the corner? No, we can't. What a tackle. Lad, he looks huge. He's that at centre-back, lad. He looks massive, but oh, Robbo was out of position there. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, mate. Gelhardt up front. Uh, I think he's a youth player from Leeds. What a strike that was, lad. We're getting absolutely battered by these already. Playing aggressive football. High press as well. Here's Mina. Looking to link up with Ono. Oh, Robbo stepped up. Oh, lad. These are playing good, you know. It's only 10 minutes in. Absolute high tempo. Well in Ono Masaki. He's just better though. Can we get the overlap there from Ronaldo? Get there, Ronaldo. What a save from the keeper. Oh, what a bad touch. I think the wet save just let the ball get away from him. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, 1 0 down already. Come on. Uh, they've probably deserved that though. They've battered us, but that is insane. How is he just free on the edge? I don't even know who it was. I can't let Carlos Soler pull the strings against us again. Oh, we're getting absolutely dominated by Leicester. That's bad defending from me to start with, but wow, bro. That is domination so far, this game. What is, lad, I'm playing an absolute crackhead team here, you know. These are playing out of the skin. That's just shit. That is just shit. Well, there you have it. Leicester have controlled most of the possession, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. At the passing the ball around at 100 mile an hour, but Robbo's out of position. Ono oh, Masaki looking to capitalise on that is Elliot, and on the overlap, what a tackle again! That number four at centre back for these is absolutely insane, bro. They are literally, they've got Renato Sanchez as well, like in the midfield. What a team. But these are literally playing at 100 mile an hour. Robbo's out of position. Come on. That's what we need to expose, just this left wing. Because Robbo is not going to be there, but this number four is coming over again, and I'm scared of him, bro. But oh no, he's by himself. Ronaldo has not got himself into the middle. Cut it back to Morgan Elliott, though. Oh, lad. Come on. Ronaldo has to get in the middle there for the header. There's Morgan Elliott, what a pass. Here we go. Ronaldo inside. Oh no. Oh, what a block. I just I, <laughs> had no way to go there. Come on, corner. Morgan Elliott, good delivery, bro. Ronaldo, the front post, number four again. Absolutely shining, mate. What a player he's been. So the guy that scored past us on the edge of the box was actually 73 overall, but the rest of the squad, Joe Gelhart is actually 85 overall now. They've got Julian Alvarez, who's 86. Renato Sanchez, who's only an 84. I thought he'd be higher than that. Carlos Soler is an 86 as well. What a teammate. The number four at the back, by the way, is Mohamed Simakan. He has been absolutely bullying us, and no wonder. He's 85 rated. What a player. Nice play. 
It's Ronaldo. Morgan Elliott. Can we expose that pace? Down the line. Oh, big, big tackle. Morgan Lee's there, though. Recovery, well played. Out wide, Elliott. Nice touch, Elliott. Nice touch, back in, Ronaldo. Oh, referee! Referee! That's a pen, lad! TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Leicester City facing Spurs. Nice play. That is very nice play. I've bottled the attack, I think, already. Is Elliot. Oh, I didn't even see Mina on the overlap there. I wanted that to... Oh, no. He's still got it. Ronaldo. Get the shot off. Ronaldo! Yeah, that's what he does. Come on, Sue! That's what he does, bro. Yeah? Come on. I've just made some subs as well. Oh, no, Masaki. I've took him off. Gave us some more pace down the right mids with uh, Brennan Johnson coming on. But he should have got an assist on his way out. You know what I mean? I love that boy. Let's go. That's a great finish from Ronaldo. The way he's come short as well to Ono. Get the ball to feet. Just turn, smashed it in at the near post. In that position, you just have to smash it. So in that position, I just have to smash it because there's no way I can just tap it in there. Oh, keeping us in the game. Come on, boys. Come on. No way! How, G? Come on! Oh, lad! That just stinks. I, lad, I absolutely hate short corners. I hate defending short corners. I need to just go out there and snap whoever gets the ball, lad. Like, no messing about. There we go. I said we might be able to expose Robbo with Brennan Johnson's pace. And we have done a good tackle again. Simakan, what is his name? Absolutely insane at the back. Just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on... What a pass that is, wow. Wow, we're getting exposed. Again. What a clearance that is, though. Oh. Oh. Whitehead brothers linking up. Oh, Andreas, what a touch. What a touch, what a ball. Oh, Simakan. Can you get out of here, please? He's absolutely ruined me day, bro. Here we go. Here we go. That's a, oh, that's a bad pass. That's a bad, bad pass. Come on, there's still time, boys. We've still got a goal in us here. Not if I'm doing standing tackles like that, though. Oh, the Whitehead brothers has quality link up. Ronaldo! Come on! I should have got the ball. I should have got the ball, but I can't help doing this. Sue! Let's go. Come on. Yeah? Come on. Come on, boys. Still time. That's risky, but I wanted to keep the ball in, and we have done. We've managed to keep it in. Here we go. Brennan Johnson, what is that run? Why are you running inside, bro? I want you down the wing. Oh, that could have cost us there. What a tackle that is from Anasio. Oh, my God. He has saved any hope of survival. Oh, my God. That was unreal. Lewandowski. Oh, he was making the run, bro. That could have been it. Brennan Johnson inside. I was not aiming the pass there. He's ruined it. Oh, no, boys. We had a chance. We had chances as well. Like, that would have been a sick comeback, but... Oh, it just wasn't meant to be, bro. Like, I'm not even bothered there because I've stopped playing, do you know what I mean? I was just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle, but... It's still a fucking joke how the ref hasn't blew the whistle there and we've conceded again. That's a fucking joke, by the way. But, yeah, man. Oh, it's what it is, bro. That was a tough, tough game, but... That's one of those fun ones, you know, it's not fun to just come in and dominate every single game, that was actually fun, that, that was hard, we fought back, we got two good goals, and we had chances as well, but I'm sorry, yeah, but Brennan Johnson stinks, I love the guy in real life, thinks he's a baller, in this game, his runs have absolutely stunk, and he can't dribble, like, what can he actually do, we played him up front the other day, and he scored a few, so maybe he's a striker, and not a winger, but when he's on the ball, he stinks, all right, boys, I think this is going to be a bit of a longer episode with the three games plus all those comments at the start. But hopefully, like I mentioned in those comments, you do enjoy longer episodes and there will be more to come in the future if there is a good response to them. But with that being said, that is going to be the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes and I'll catch you next time, people. Take it easy.